Jinu Joseph, Global Group Editor of Modern Plastics Global Network, Modern Plastics India and Modern Plastics TV, here at ExxonMobil booth at Plast India 2023. Here with me, Mr. Nidin Thakur and uh, Mr. Saurav Sharma. They are going to speak about, uh, could you please tell our viewers about uh, ExxonMobil global operations and the Indian operations, please? So ExxonMobil is primarily into upstream, downstream and chemicals. So we are a global company, have manufacturing locations across all the regions, both in upstream, downstream and chemicals. As far as India operations are concerned, we have offices in Bangalore, Gurgaon, as well as Mumbai. So Bangalore, we have an office where we have almost workforce of 2,000 people taking care of technology, taking care of planning domain, taking care of the operations for upstreams as well. Gurgaon and Mumbai offices are primarily for the sales operations for chemicals and lubricants are primarily the home base offices across India. So that's what we have been doing in India. So we are present in upstream, downstream and chemical operations ever as well in India as well. Mr. Sharma, could you please tell about the product range you are promoting in the Indian market and uh, also everybody speak about sustainability. How do you differentiate? this product from others? So I come from the chemical part of the business. Uh, so we have uh, the polymer business. Uh, I can describe that on the solid side. We have uh, polypropylene and polyethylene line of the business. Uh, we have our lube side of the business where we supply the lubricants to the, the multiple industries, B2C and B2B. Uh, coming close to the home in chemicals, uh, uh, let me talk about the sustainability. Uh, mainly from the polyethylene and polypropylene side. So our products are, our focus in India market is on the performance products and how these products are helping our customers or the value chain partners to meet their sustainability need. We can categorize that into three main areas. So first, I want to talk about um, the down gauging or the light weighting concept, which is the mantra which we have been uh, doing with our value chain partners over the years. Uh, so we say that what we don't need, we don't use that. If you see the evolution of the packaging material and packaging is one of our main focus area in the India market. So over the period of time, we have decarbonized by moving from metal to glass to the rigid packaging to the flexible packaging. And when we come into the flexible packaging and we start talking about the plastics, uh, we believe in light weighting and our performance polymers and some of the brands like Exceed Enable, Exceed XP, Exceed S, Vistamax, these kind of a performance polymers are helping our customers and the value chain partners to do the light weighting. The second part now with the plastic waste management rule and the EPR, lot of our value chain partners want to work on the structure simplification where we are working on design for recycling kind of solution where you want to replace the diff different kind of a plastic and you want to use the mono material. So polyethylene, polyethylene based mono material, polypropylene based mono material are the great examples. We are working in that direction and we are working and engaging the entire value chain for that. The last but not the least is the mechanical recycling or the recycle incorporation which is helping to address the issue of plastic waste. Be it a PIR or the PCR, our performance polymers are helping the, the formulation and the solutions to receive the original functionality, the way they can meet with uh, your virgin polymer. This performance polymer like you know included with the, the recycled granules helping us to achieve those kind of a properties. So this is the way we are helping the whole value chain. So it is nice to know that you are focusing on sustainability and uh, uh, there is change happening. Even the mindset of the customers and the processes are changing. Could you please tell our viewers about uh, how do you see ExxonMobil in the down the line next five years and how do you see the Indian market? So Indian market is pretty bullish in a lot of respects, right? So if you look at India as a country, we are one of the youngest country in the world, right? So what does it mean? It means as we move forward, a lot of middle class income will grow and the middle class income growth, it will need some more plastics, right? More consumption would be required. That's one part of it. Second, if you look at today, the urbanization is happening so fast that you would be needing more sophisticated packaging. You would be needing 
more automotive or medical products which will be either lightweight or help society in general. The third thing which is driving the growth in India would be related to consumerism, right? So consumer is becoming more aware about how the things are shaping up. They are looking for the greener solutions. That is actually going to shape up the market. But what is the role of ExxonMobil in the entire totality, right? We have started developing solutions in terms of polyethylene and polypropylene, which will help us to drive these growth prospects in terms of down gauging, in terms of design for recycling films, or in terms of PCR incorporation. And that's what the entire value chain is looking towards us. So we are continuously innovating, enhancing the technologies as not only this, we are actually collaborating the value chain partners across the value chain, starting from converters to OEMs to brand owners to end consumers and building those solutions and bringing to the market. So we do see a lot of scope, a lot of growth coming in this area and very, very bullish about it. And we are very committed to the market in terms of bringing these solutions on the ground. Mr. Saurabh, could you please elaborate on uh, what are the latest innovation happening in India for the Indian market and uh, new developments happening? I think it's a very good question, like, you know, talking about the innovation. Uh, as previously, I was talking about um, how our performance products are helping our customers and the value chain partners in India. I would like to use this particular case study, like, you know, where we have collaborated uh, with one of the companies called Suraj Logistics. And their need was to incorporate some of the post-industrial ma waste material into their uh, virgin bags, like you know, which you can see here. We have collaborated with them and we decided that up to 25%, we can do the recycled material which can go into their cement bags. With our Vistamax polymers, we gave them the formulation which can help them to include this recycled material in the bag while maintaining the same property which they are getting out of the virgin bags. So this is one of the great example where we have collaborated across the the value chain with our partners and help them with their uh, recyclability need. Uh, another good example, like you know, which I would like to talk about is um, the increasing the productivity. So this is the pack where we have collaborated with uh, Jupiter Laminator and Centagon, and then we have come up with the mono material solution, which is recyclable, where the facilities are available to recycle in the community. And here we have replaced the polyester with the BOPP and the sealant material is also made out of BOPP. So this is a great example like you know which can meet our uh, value chain partners sustainability need at the same time it can enhance the productivity as well and we have multiple more examples like that where we have collaborating with the our partners in India and we are showcasing a lot of uh, samples like that in our booth our entire booth and majority of our uh, products which we are displaying that has been collaborated with the value chain partners in India and we are, we are very proud about that and our customer value that a lot. What are the global innovation happening like uh, uh, when we discuss we talk about advanced recycling could you please elaborate on that please? So it's a very good question I must say ExxonMobil uh, has started uh, advanced recycling in our US plant where we have been taking the plastic waste and putting back into the co-processing unit as a building blocks for our polyethylene and polypropylene products, right? I think this is the best way to get the plastic waste back into the stream. So we are talking about the circular economy here, right? Rather than getting those waste back as into the landfill or as a litter, right? So we are having almost capacity to process 35,000 tons of plastic waste material in, in that unit. And we have been collaborating mostly as of now in US and some part of Europe and some part of product will actually flow into India as well as a part of chemical recycling product, right? So we are collaborating across the value chain, starting from the converters to the brand owners and helping society in general to promote the circular polymers. Long-term plan perspective, we have plans to go up to 500,000 tons across the globe by 26 and 2027. So this is a commitment from ExxonMobil to the world that we are bringing more innovations and technology where we'll help Earth to be more greener. 
So as ExxonMobil, we promote mechanical recycling as well as advanced recycling, part of the legislation to be considered as a recycling content based on the mass balance approach as well as our life cycle analysis. Thank you very much. Innovation technology can save our mother earth. Sustainability is the core of focus of ExxonMobil and I'm sure that new development will help the industry as well as the uh, you know uh, the processors to do in a bigger way and a better way and save the environment thank you so much for joining modern plastics tv here at uh, plast india action booth we wish you all the best and all the success in the coming years have a wonderful time